Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am in a different spot today. I'm Elvis Lass and I'm Michelle here on YouTube. And the reason why I'm on a different spot is showing off my record player. Now, in a live that I done, if you um, caught it, then you will have seen that I didn't think I had a record player um, and I had some old Camdens from my dad. Let's do a little chatty video and why not? Let's discuss records, vinyls and the record player. So I am a massive Elvis fan, have been for years. If you are new to my channel, then you won't know this, but yeah, the reactions that I do are reactions to songs that I've heard a billion times over. I know the words to the songs. I think it should be called Lip Syncing with Michelle. That's maybe a better title. But um, yeah, I've always been a fan. And my dad had the old Camdens. And I think most Elvis fans from that kind of age group were collecting the Camdens because they were cheap and cheerful and easy to get your hands on. And my dad had a ton of the old Camdens. And I don't even have half of what he had because my sisters took some. And yeah, when you've got family, family members all grab some of the mementos as well because they were important to dad so we find them important but yeah he had all the old Beatles records and stuff I remember Rubber Soul being one of them and I don't know where they've gone I honestly don't know it's quite sad but the ones that I grabbed are here now I am not a collector of records I'm not a collector in general I'm definitely not a person who looks after things enough so I wouldn't trust myself to have special mementos so yeah I'm not a collector never and I don't think I ever will be I buy this is the kind of fan I am I buy if I like something and if I like it I put it there if I like it it's probably generally in the cupboard and um, I'll go and then scan it and look at it and I'm also a downloads kind of girl so I love getting things on Spotify now I didn't have a Spotify I had an Apple Music I love putting stuff on there I love listening to YouTube and it doesn't bother me not to have the physical copy of something Saying all of that, if there's new releases, then I gotta buy it because I want Elvis to be in the charts. I want Elvis to have sales. So I'm all for that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, back to this record player. I didn't think I had one. Then my husband was like, he watched a bit of the live. Well, I told him about it and he watched a little bit of it. Um, and he said to me, you've got a record player. It's in the cupboard. You bought me it for my Christmas. And I was like, did I? And that is where my memory is a problem. I didn't even know I had this. It went into the cupboard. There it is, looking great, sitting there looking at me. <laughs> so this is my record player. Now it's just a bog standard record player. It wasn't um, expensive. I got it for my husband's Christmas and yeah, it's pretty cool. Now um, the first record that I've got is I Got Lucky and it's this one here. Now obviously this isn't a um, Camden um, RCA and uh, I just absolutely love this one. So I have it on because I was listening to it just a few minutes ago and so I thought I'd play a tiny little bit of this one here. I absolutely love that song. I truly, truly do. So um, obviously this is just on the second side and so you've got to stop from the Paramount picture, Easy Come, Easy Go, a Hal Wallace production. And that's what it says so here. And um, yeah, it just, it brings me back loads of great memories. And when I was listening to it, I was just really enjoying it. Um, we have two Christmas albums. So there was one in there that was the other Christmas album because me and my husband have doubles of so many things. Um, that is the thing when you bring two fans together you've got a lot of doubles so I got lucky and Blue Hawaii has been on, constantly been on my playlist at the moment I'm just absolutely loving this one and this was um, from my granny's house when she passed away we went in and um, we took some of the records and she had Blue Hawaii which I just absolutely love that she had that and I've had it on this whole weekend just totally vibing to it it's been absolutely great um, then we have Please Don't Stop Loving Me and this is Camden obviously and they're just this is my childhood right here if I was to encapsulate my childhood of Elvis and get to know Elvis it would be this album it was just in my life constantly um Flaming Star this was also my childhood for sure it's like it's crazy 
this just says to me Elvis and me getting into Elvis and finding him and I just absolutely love this one that's the back side now these are very grubby it's held together with sellotape as you can see because my dad was not a collector my dad was a listener he grabbed it and he listened to it he pulled it out we all pulled it out all the kids were allowed to pull it out put it on the record player it wasn't protected or cared for in the pristine kind of way but it was cared for in a loving way and that there is a difference so i am from that school i am not a collector so if you're seeing these looking grubby and horrible and you're a collector i apologize because i bet it's hurting your soul i understand that but um for us as a family it wasn't we are not that so then the absolute epic of all epics this is Christmas for me. This makes me cry. When I see this, I just I just think of my childhood being young and having no worries whatsoever. And I hope that I can instill that in my children. So when they grow up, they look at this and see nothing but happiness. And this just brings me ultra happiness. It's just a Christmas album. And I will never be without it because I adore it. Then we have Elvis Presley. I got lucky. I need someone to lean on. All of these good ones. Now, this is the same one as this other one it's just another issue and um, this is camden so there you go these two dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um love it and then this is a weird one i don't know why i've got this one but it's smash hits presley style so i never knew i had this um blue suede shoes carl perkins in the gate of scott davis blackwell presley all shook up are you lonesome tonight by turk Harmon, u.s mail oh let's have a look here we go. Well, since my baby left, I found an old place as well. It's down at the end. Right. A great old friend of mine. Well, it's us two as high class. Well, that was just a lie. <laughs> we can't go on together with suspicious minds. So that's a little bit of that. I don't know where I got this one from, but um, and I don't know if I've ever listened to it apart from that one listen that we just did then. So yeah. <laughs> um, then we have Elvis Presley, Elvis in person at the International. He loved this so much, and this is worn. This is worn, and the most loved ones are the worn, worn ones because they've been used. This has been used. This is not sat pristine. It's been used. Now look at that. It's just all together <laughs> crazy but he loved it and just you know just loving it and seeing somebody loving Elvis so much that can totally transform a child and be interested in it now there's only one song I can play on this and this is the song from my childhood that I fell in love with Elvis Presley and I said wow that man that I wished I'm going to react to that. Somebody request it <laughs> because that one is gorgeous. And then on the other side, of course, we have Elvis back in Memphis, some of the most eclectic songs that Elvis ever performed or ever recorded. I think it's just such a mix and such a different take on everything. Inherit the Wind, This is the Story, A Little Bit of Green, um, Do You Know Who I Am? All of those ones that were just different, really different. And you don't hear them a lot, which... Um, sad and then we have inspirations album i have had done a video on this why this was the one that really got me into elvis um into the elvis world and into the fandom of elvis and there is a reason i will pop it in the description bar please go and look at it in your leisure um then then we have elvis camden of course and it's you'll never walk alone and we've got let us pray peace in the valley we call on him i believe sing you children um, take my hand precious lord and I used to love this is a big part of my childhood also looking at all of these ones at the bottom I used to be like oh I'd love to get that one especially Glenn Miller and Mario Lanza I love them both I love Mario Lanza films and I love Glenn Miller's um, sound I just absolutely love it little brown jug is all for me <laughs> I love it now these ones love songs now this is worn also if you can see we have played the heck out of this one this one has been played a billion times over 
nowadays we'll have the playlists and you'll put on your favourite playlist. Back in the day, this was the love songs. This was the original love song playlist. And I just loved this. It had everything that you needed as a start-up Elvis fan just to get to know and fall in love with Elvis. And there's nothing better. And then we've got Elvis US Mail, which is another absolute favourite. And Elvis sings hits from his movies, plus two recent hits. <laughs> so that's how they look. They're just great albums. And we have another one, Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley, RCA Victor. And yeah, this is just a great one. I mean, obviously, everyone loves it. Now, Daddy has bought this from um, second hand. Because as you can see, this was owned by Archie Care. So Archie Care, wherever you are, I have your record. My dad bought it. So you've popped it into the wherever and my dad's went and bought it. So then we have the Elvis Presley collection. And this is a great standard. Now I remember listening to this a lot. These are ones that just get you into Elvis. And um, obviously they're reissues of other ones. So that one is um, You'll Never Walk Alone that we've just shown you all together. And you can listen to as That's one. all for now because we're at 12 minutes and we're running out of time and I just think they are gorgeous. Now I also show you these um little paintings that my husband bought. They're so gorgeous. These are them here and they're by S.A. Samuel and my husband bought them to go along the stairs so um, we're definitely going to be putting them up very very soon but aren't they a gorgeous trio? I just think they're stunning. Um, I'll bring them up close so it's isn't it gorgeous? So my husband bought them for me when he went to an Elvis week. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me on this one, this chatty kind of record player, vinyl kind of vibe. As you can see, I'm not a collector. I am a listener and I am interested in maybe buying a few more vinyls. So it's definitely something that I am interested in and I may just do it. So if I do collect some more vinyls, I'll put it in a video and let you know. Um, yeah, so that's it. Take care of yourself. Have a fantastic Elvis Day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you on another one very soon. Bye, everyone.